Hi, my name is Phil, welcome back to my channel. Now some shots are just easier to avoid than to shoot when it comes to real estate interiors, but with a bit of practice, tricky can become easy and those photos will make you really stand out from other photographers. One of those particular photos that I used to avoid is what I call a split room shot. This is a single photo with two rooms in the same picture. If you go into an ensuite bedroom, for example, and take a picture of the bedroom and then take a picture of the bathroom, there's no context between the two and the viewer will have no idea they're looking at an ensuite. The same goes for an open plan living area. If you're in a living room where there's a kitchen coming off it or a dining area, you want to be able to show those. Now, the difficulty with doing this is you've got different levels of exposure for each room and also different white balances. So I'm gonna show you how I shoot, edit, and deliver those photos to make them look absolutely perfect. So stick with me now and we'll go through it. Okay, here we are in Lightroom. I've got my shots lined up. I've got four shots that I took to create this one image. Now, as you can see, this is a uh, ensuite bedroom and it's a split shot because I've got the bathroom on the right and the bedroom on the left, but we're gonna have problems if we're shooting this um, just with one shot. We're gonna have to take multiple ones because we have highlight issues in the window and we also have more blue than over here and more yellow over here. So we've got white balance issues and we've got highlights and shadow issues. So the first one is just an ambient shot. The second shot I've got is a flash shot third one is a flash shot from the bedroom. I'm stood just around the corner, bouncing the flash off the back of the ceiling away from me against the back wall to shine through onto the room. And the last one I've got is another exposure just purely that I'm going to use for the bathroom. So we're going to adjust them first of all. So each one needs slight adjustments. At the moment, all I've done to these is added my preset. If you want to learn how to create presets, then you can watch a video in my channel when you finish this one. It's very simple. Uh, all I've done is added a preset to create minor adjustments to get my base image to where I want it to be. Okay, so first we're going to make adjustments on this ambient layer. So the exposure is pretty good, maybe a little bit high. So I'm just going to take that down a notch and I'm going to check the white balance by clicking here with the white balance selector. That's done. So I'm going to move on to the next shot. This is my flash image. I'm gonna check the exposure, just raise that a little bit so it's about the same on the histogram as the previous image. I'm also gonna use the white balance with the same area. Now move to the next shot. This is my bedroom flash shot. I'm gonna grab the white balance, click that in the bedroom ceiling area, and I'm also gonna adjust the exposure for that area to where it matches up with the rest of the images. The last one is my bathroom image. So I'm going to use the white balance for the bathroom and then increase the exposure to where I want it to be. Make sure that they all balance out. Now you've got all of your images ready to go. Highlight them all, right click, and then open as layers in Photoshop. And there we are. So now we just need to align all the images because there might have been some camera shake or movement while you were taking the shots and adjusting your exposure, etc. So just highlight them all and then go to Edit, Auto Align Layers, and click OK. And then we're gonna start by highlighting the top one. This is my ambient, and we're gonna mask that layer. So we're gonna go down to where it says Add Layer Mask, hold down the Option button, and then click the mouse, and that will hide that layer. Now I'm gonna select my brush by hitting B, or you can choose Brush from here. Make sure that the foreground is set to white, and your brush is set to opacity 100 and your flow around between 10 to 20% is fine. And then we're gonna select also luminosity mode. Now, what I'm gonna do here is just bring a little bit of the natural light into this flash image. As we've masked over the ambient shot, all you can see now is the flash image below. So I'm just gonna bring in some of the ambient light here into the bedroom and on the walls and a little bit on the curtains here as well. Foreground and also a little in the bathroom to get rid of those reflections. Now at this point, that is pretty much good to go. But 
If you want to take it a little step further and use the other shots that we've got, we can make it a little bit nicer. What we can do now is just merge those two layers out because we've already used those as much as we want. And I'm going to move this layer to the top. So now I have my flash in the bedroom at the top and I'm going to mask that again by hovering over add layer mask, hold option and click your mouse. And now I just want to bring some of that back in. So I'm just going to get my brush tool and I'm just going to brush a little around here just to bring some of that brightness back to the bedroom from that flash shot. If we turn that off, we can see what it's done. It's brought some of the correct colors into that photo. If you want to get rid of a little bit of that from the ceiling, I think it's gone a little bit over there and maybe a little bit from the chair. Uh, then you can just hit the X on your keyboard and it will change the foreground to black and when you say, or erase what you've done. Maybe a little from this wall here. And then that's good to go. Now I can merge those two layers because I've used what I need to on that. And I'm going to bring the last and final layer to the top and mask that the same way. And now I just want to mask in some of the bathroom here. So what I'm going to do is get my lasso tool just by hitting L and draw around the bathroom area here. Just double click your mouse to join the lines together. And at this point you hit brush again, make it a bit larger for this one. And then you can just brush in. Ah, made a mistake there. See here, I've got the foreground layer as black still from my last adjustment. So if I hit X again on my keyboard, it'll change it to white. And now I can brush in and that will bring the correct colors back into my bathroom. Okay, we can turn that off and see the difference that's made. It's got rid of those orangey colors from the bathroom. There is a little bit of blue in there, but we can also adjust that later. So I'm just going to deselect now by hitting Command D, highlight those two layers and merge them together. Now, if I want to address some of this blue in the bathroom, I can just lasso that area again very quickly. Hit Command J to create a new layer and then go to filter, camera raw filter and bring up the color mixer tool. Here you can adjust the colors in that certain area. So I can adjust the blues here. You can see if I put them right up, you can see there's a little bit of blues in some areas around the uh, door handle and the toilet. So let's just take that way off and hit OK. And then we have our finished product. Well, we're ready to bring that back into Lightroom. So just hit X and click Save. Click back to Lightroom and wait for a second for that final image to come in. Now I'm going to hit Auto to make sure that everything's nice and straight and check that because not always does it bring it in perfectly straight. Sometimes you have to use the Guide tool. Um, that's not too bad. Maybe I'll just alter that just a touch. Just add that in there. Now I'm going to check the exposure. I might bring that down a little bit. And I'm going to check also the white balance in my final image. And there we go. So that's finished. So I'm going to hit three to change the star rating on that to make sure I know which one uh, is my final image. So let's have a look at the original image that we took, which was just an ambient shot. And you can see the difference here from the ambient to the finished product. The highlights are not blown out anymore and the colors in the bathroom are correct. If you look at the flash image, the problem with the flash image is we have reflections coming off the walls of the flash and we also have shadows and brightness created from the flash on the chair and behind the chair and behind the lights. And also if you have a look at the bedroom image, we can see that that is a little overexposed. So you can see the blended image has the correct colors and everything is perfect. One thing that I can see up here is a little bit of green, which is coming from the uh, fake grass, which is actually outside, uh, which you can't see. And that's because of the sunlight hitting the grass and reflecting on the ceiling. So we can just get in into Photoshop, grab the lasso tool, select an area around it. I want to give it a little bit of extra width. 
just in case the green is spilling out. Just double click to make your selection. Command J to create a new layer. Go to filter, camera roll filter. Go to the color mixer and just slide green down. Click OK. And that's removed the green. And you can see the difference there. If we just turn that layer off, you can see the green come back in, turn it on and that's gone. Let's go back out and back into Lightroom. And now we have a final image ready and done. Now that's it. So thank you very much for watching. See you again soon.